The working environment in Smoke is called the workspace, and the workspace is a task-based environment with tabs to access the different tasks you need to perform. You'll use these tabs along the bottom, such as Media Hub, Conform, Timeline, and Tools to access the different task-based environments. This video is going to focus on introducing you to the UI of the Timeline tab, where 90% of your creative work will be done. The Timeline tab is broken into three different panels, and each panel will have its own specific commands for the task that you are trying to perform in that space. The Media panel is along the left-hand side. The Viewing panel is the upper portion of the UI. And the lower portion of the UI is the Editing panel. The Media panel is where you manage your media in your current project, and any media that you import and bring into your project in this Media panel will then be saved with the project. You can create and edit folders to store and organize your media. In these folders, you can have your media, your sequences, and effect clips. The viewing panel gives you different visual representations of the clips in the media panel and your sequences. The default layout is the source sequence view. On the left side, we have our source view. And as I select any media source inside of my media panel, it then will be displayed in this view. The right side has my sequence view. As I playback, scrub, or navigate through my sequence, it will then be updated in this view. Both viewers have the typical playback controls right underneath it for navigating and playing back either the source or the sequence view. And then there are time code indicators that can be used for playback or navigating two different frames and also setting your in and your out marks. And then under the sequence player, you'll find a series of buttons to perform typical editorial functions. These buttons are the yellow insert button, the red overwrite button, and the blue replace button. There's also a flyout that you can expand by clicking on the small arrow to access a series of other editorial functions that you perform on a regular basis. The editing panel is where you'll have a visual representation of your source media and your sequences. You'll use this area to edit your media in a track-based timeline workflow. The editing panel allows you to access the source media selected in the media library, which is represented by the tab with the green bar along the top. Any sequence that you have open will be represented by a tab with a red bar along the top. You can have multiple sequences open at one time. You'll bring either tab to the front by clicking on the tab. Also part of the editing panel is the ability to access the tools from the tool ribbon to apply to your different selected clips. Each panel has a task menu you access by clicking on the gear icon. The task menus will have a variety of different tasks relevant to the panel that it is associated with. Each panel also has a mode box for controlling different display options. And as with any typical program running on a Mac, you have a toolbar along the top to achieve many of the same task and layout options that you access through the different mode and task flyouts. Each panel has a contextual menu that are available by right-clicking over different areas of the UI. And depending upon which area you are right-clicking on, you will receive different commands and different options. Lastly, the Viewer panel and the Editing panel have an extra Options button which will affect different elements within that panel. 